Moving on to the next problem, it is a real world problem where we need to graph a power function using a table. Let's see what is the context of the problem. For water to flow through a garden hose at a certain rate in gallons per minute. Now, a garden hose is basically like a pipe, you know, which is used to water the plants. You know, that's the garden hose, like a main pipe, you know, which is, which is used for gardening. It needs to have a specific pressure in pounds per square inch. Now, in that garden hose, if water has to flow, there, there needs to be a pressure. So they both are related to each other. Through testing and measurement, a company that produces garden hoses determines that the pressure P, given the flow rate F, is defined by this function over here. Pressure as a function of flow rate equals 3 by 2 F squared. Graph the function P of F and state the domain and range. Now when we graph this, we understand at what flow rates, what is the pressure. Okay, we will see how to solve this now. Now, first step over here, let's look at the function. Let's look at this function and understand how the graph looks like. See, this is positive coefficient, okay? And it's an even function. You can see it's even over here. So what happens is for the even function, that is parabola, and if it's positive coefficient, it's upwards. So this will be, your graph won't be exactly like this, but similar to it, it'll open upwards. This is the main understanding from this given function. So what is the a and n? That is leading coefficient and the degree. The leading coefficient a is 3 by 2 and degree n is 2. What next? Domain and range. We have done this already in the previous problem. So if you have not watched the previous video, please pause this, go back to the previous video and then continue this. Over here, the domain is all real numbers. You can see that all the real numbers are the domain because it extends everywhere throughout the x-axis. The range is only the values above this, above zero, so greater than or equal to zero. So we found the domain range, okay? That is That part is over, but we have not still graphed it. So this is easy from the basic understanding, we can do it. Graphing using table. So how do we do that is, we need to make a table of values. I am sure you have already been through this. It is very simple. The function is known. You need to assume values for the known variable in the function. See, which is the known variable? F, right? So you need to assume values over here and then put it in this function, solve for the pressure, and you will get the values for F and P. Let us try. So over here, since it's a power function, we, uh, you know, start with... 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, or you can take a different scale as well, it's fine. It's better to, uh, since it's a monomial over here, always start with 0, and then you can take minus 2, minus 4, minus 7, or something like that, and continue the other side as well. Put this over here in this function. It'll be 3 by 2 minus 2 the whole square, 3 by 2 minus 1 the whole square, 3 by 2 0 square, 3 by 2, 1 square and 3 by 2, 2 square. Put the values in the calculator, solve. You're going to get these values. Now, you know, it's a parabola. Always goes like this. And same thing is repeated. And the axis of symmetry is over here. So you can see it's a repeated both the sides. So 0 is the axis of symmetry. And these values will always be the same. If you take another point, say minus 5 and plus 5, it's going to be the same thing. Why? Because minus pi or plus pi, the answer is the same, 25. And then solve it up. So we need to graph this. When you graph it, you're going to get something like this. So now, based on the flow rate, you can see what is the pressure. Say when the flow rate is 2 over here, and you can see the pressure is 6. Now remember the units over here are specified. Flow rate is specified by GPM. So for 4 GPM, what will be the uh, pressure in PSI? You can see from the graph. You need to extend it and you will get it. So that is how we can graph it. Um, we will see over here again, another function is given. Similar to this, you know, you can solve. It's, it's another real world problem. Uh, the density of the sun in grams per centimeter cubed expressed as a percent of the distance from the core of the sun to its surface can be modeled by this power function. Now, where x is representing the percentage as a decimal, at the 
core x equals 0 and the surface x is equal to 1. So now the core of the sun over here x is 0. Whereas over here if you're considering this is 1. So it is about 100% right. So now find this is the radius sorry 0 and 1. Find the core of this core density of the sun at radius 60%. So this is 0, this is 1, that's 100%. 60% means 0 0.6, if you solve this, per cent, per cent is 100. So if you want to remove this, percent symbol equals 1 by 100. I hope you know this. So if you want to remove this, you have to just divide by 100 or put the 60 up over here and divide by 100 because the symbol of percent means 1 divided by 100. Now, so it will be 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is somewhere over here, 0 0.6. So now, what is the x value? x value is 0 0.6. Substitute in this equation, you will get the answer for the first one, the core density, because that is the function given. Instead of x, you need to put 0 0.6. That's it. And then next is sketching the graph, which we have already done. So the function is already given. So now the, let's do it. First, finding the core density. The core density at radius 60% of the way to the surface is 0 0.6. Now, instead of x, just substitute these values of 0 0.6 and solve. Put it in the calculator and you'll get it. See, over here, the unit is mentioned gram per centimeter cubed. And that is the first part, A. That is over. What about the second part? Sketch a graph of the function. You can use the same method we just did in the previous problem. So you can take different values now here why we have taken 0 0.1 to uh, 0 0.2 and so on because it's from 0 to 1. You can even tell, take less values say 0 0.2468. When you graph you'll get a reasonable graph. It's no problem. But now this is one way and you will get the graph over here like this. So over here they have not asked you entirely. See it's not going on like this. You are just been you are just graphing from year to year, okay? So this is it. Now, this is one way to graph. We will do a similar problem the next one, the check. But I'll tell you a shortcut to graph. Now, instead of all this, if you have the four options with you, there is a shortcut. If there's no option, then you have to graph this. You know, just like what we have done before. Now, if you're thinking how this is, so it's very simple. Take the value 0 0.1, put it in this x. Instead of x, put 0 0.1. Solve function. What is the answer? If you put over here everywhere 0 0.1, you'll get this answer. Same way, take this, put it over here. Instead of x, you'll get this answer. And so on. So at any x point, now over here 0 0.4, where x is 0 0.4, you will get that answer. So that is how we do it. Okay. Now, we will do another similar problem. So... Before we start this, try it by yourself. Pause the video. Try it by yourself. You will learn much better. So, after you watch the video, even if it's a explained problem, try it by yourself after some time, you know. You will realize, you will make doubts and you will realize, okay, oh yeah, I'm getting wrong. Watch the video again, understand? And then be thorough with these problems. So now, try it by yourself. If you're done trying, now I'll explain it to you. To help predict heart attacks, heart attacks, doctors can inject a concentration of dye in vein near the heart to measure the cardiac output in patients. In a normal heart, the change in the concentration of dye can be modeled by the function, over here the function is given, where x is time in seconds. So once they put the dye, they can see how it flows and then they can see how your heart is beating and all that. Um, it's used in medical field. Now they have told over here, Find the concentration of dye after 5 seconds. Now this x over here is the time in seconds, right? So after 5 seconds means just put 5 instead of x. Step 1, all you need to do is, sorry, I need to change this because I, uh, when I was doing the presentation, I just copied from the previous slides. Instead of, you know, changing into dye, I kept it as the last problem. This is about find the concentration of the dye. The concentration of dye in after 5 seconds. What happens? For this equation, all you need to do is change the x value to 5. And solve it up. In the calculator, you're going to get this answer. Now, your units are not given, so leave it as it is. And then, 
sketch the graph now over here in this case you have four graphs you need to find the correct answer so there is one shortcut method if you have options you know in the graph take out your calculator now see look at all the graphs you need to choose a point okay you need to choose an appropriate point say six see if i choose x as six can you see the answer over here is 30 let me take over here this is also 30 so you need to try more values but now if i take six over here it's you know it's about 10 and over here six it is again about 10. so wh what do i do so what i do is i'll take six seconds Sorry, these two are different. Wait, I'll just take 6 seconds, x as 6, and I will substitute in this equation. So it is minus 0 0.006 into, sorry, into x is, I'm considering as 6 to the power 4. I'm just assuming an uh, answer from the graph, and I'm trying to check what will be the answer, okay? Let me solve it now plus 0 0.140 into 6 to the power 3 plus 1.79 into it's only x so x is 6 now what is the answer it is 33.20 let me check over here okay it is as if you see closely it is 6 somewhere over here so that is just about 30 yes it is corresponding to that okay because we can't be accurate over here so it's about 33.2 because the function gives the accurate values this is correct look over here and on the other two graphs 6 is uh, 10 which is wrong so this is absolutely wrong this is wrong look at this this is also at 6 yes the correct answer but look at the values over here is x value seconds or concentration of dye this is wrong because x values were considered to be seconds it's given in the question but they are mentioned over here as concentration of dye which is wrong so a is your correct graph so this is the correct graph so this is the shortcut method just take a value check whether the answer is correct and see the uh, uh, axes proper axes and then you can easily eliminate the other options and uh, choose the correct answer but this is when you have been given the options if the options are not given then you need to make a table and solve it up just like what we have done in the uh, previous problems